Tim Spriggs up against Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali with the red ankle bands, Tim Spriggs with the blue. And very notable that these guys, both coached by Team Lloyd Irvin, no coach in the corner. Yeah. Lloyd has elected to stand back, not get involved, and just let these guys get on with it. And I think that's a smart move. Yeah, I, I like be, that. I like what that. can be gained by coaching either man. Yeah. And you know, this is nothing special either, Sean, right? I mean, it's obviously as ADC, it's special. But the fact that two teammates are fighting, they do this in the gym that's every right. day. That's right. It's nothing different than you do every day. It's just in front of a crowd. So this is the kind of thing that, of course, if you could be a fly in the wall of a gym, you know, you would love the opportunity to watch well. The great thing about ECC is we get to see yeah, that's it right. right here with so much on the line. And, you know, Spriggs showed that guillotine early. It's a, a, a technique that we saw him use to great effect when he won the West, uh, the East Coast Trials to qualify here for ADCC. We saw him use it yesterday in his opening match against Felipe Andrew. We saw him use it here in the opening match against Jared Dopp. Put Jared Dopp to sleep with the guillotine yes. and threatening with it early. But of course, Muhammad Ali, you'd imagine, they trained together. You may have seen that before, No, kind of what to expect. Tim is a phenomenal wrestler, I have to oh, say. Oh, yeah. He's, yeah, he's a fantastic athlete, highly skilled. He's got a, uh, there we see, a really Ooh. nice kind of throw by. Onto oh. the guillotine choke. High elbow. They're going out of bounds, but this is still on. Mohammed just about manages to spin out. Wow. Whoa. Yeah. We said the guillotine was one of the, yeah, you the called things it. to watch, you, and there it is right there. You called that, how in the end. I'll tell you, that, that, that was a nice shot and just... Beautiful counter because that was a really nice double. It looks like the TV might have taken a hit there and it might be out. If that is the case, that's very unfortunate. We still have the scoreboard on the screen, of course, but the uh, competitors won't be able to see it. Still 0-0, zero, zero, just over two minutes into this match and we've already seen so Man. much. And you know, we were saying about the, the wrestling of Spriggs. It, it, it really, the, the style of takedowns really uh, heavily contrasted. Spriggs, in the gi, he does have like a very unique style of, uh, a kind of judo inspired style of takedowns. He calls it the train wreck system. In the wrestling, he really favors exactly this. He yeah. really likes the two on one. He likes to go by, he likes to duck under. He likes the blast double. Muhammad, we've talked about the fact that he loves his judo style throws, Harai Goshis, and big tosses. But I'll tell you, Muhammad Ali is really mixing it up with these doubles. I mean, he's he's got a really nice level change, threatening just strong double legs. You know, if anything that um, Muhammad suffers from in this match is that he has a long neck. <laughs> and a long neck, obviously, is uh, very susceptible for uh, the guillotine choke. You know what it's like when you've got a guy who's got no neck. It's yeah. impossible to get your yeah. arm around and choke yeah. him out. But a little shrug and that's not, no more neck disappears. Right. <laughs> Two and one's a very nice uh, strategy, especially against a guy that likes the overhooks and things like this. You get a two and one, he's really, you've really put him off his game. Not much, not much throwing on the defensive end of the two on one. Now there's some slick things you can do, but throwing becomes difficult. Still wrestling. There's the two on one again. I yeah, love the good. way that Spriggs is able to shuck off that collar tie and go into this two on one. Here's another guillotine. Wow. Yeah. Well, if Muhammad Ali is the bull, call Spriggs the matador because he just yeah, sidestepped that takedown. He really did. I mean, he there. I had vision shown that they were going to hit us. Yes, again. they were coming close. And I'll tell you, yeah, he's he scooped them up, def defended perfectly and sent Muhammad Ali flying.
feeling each other out. He's uh, hand fighting here. Spriggs with the inside collar tie. Almost points now, just 10 seconds away, so. I'm wondering if we'll see Spriggs open up and take some shots once right. there's points, you know? Right. Let's see if we'll see him come forward yep. now. The points are yep. active. Maybe you see some re shots off of Muhammad Ali's shots, things like this. Arm drags. Looks like he might be thinking that way. Still feeling each other out now into the upper body clinch. You have to think this is an area where Muhammad's going to have an advantage, Sean. His uh, his size, his weight advantage, and those those throws and tosses and trips as well. He likes the foot sweep too. Yeah, that, he needed. There's the arm, the arm drag double. Yeah. Nice. That was beautiful angle. Nice change of direction. Yes. Can he keep Muhammad down? No, he can't. Looks too like slippery. he's going to slide off the top. Wow, that was, uh, that was strong work by Spriggs, but keeping Ali down on his back <laughs> is going to be a, a, a very <laughs> difficult challenge. But yeah. It was a nice initial arm drag double, though. Beautiful. And that's the kind of thing that even though he's on bottom right now because of the counter, the referees aren't going to be looking at that. They're yeah. going to be looking at the fact that he was the one chasing after that takedown and... Even if it was defended, the fact that he's the one aggressively looking to, to dictate where this match goes. Those guillotine attempts, of course, they will, they will count. <laughs> Still on those Collar ties and <laughs> fighting away. Drops down on the single now. Yeah, He's yeah. able to good yeah, work yeah. by Spriggs onto the guillotine once again. Slips off. Mohamed dropping those hips down. Spriggs with the one hook in. Scoop grip on the underside of that leg. Half butterfly, almost in an X guard here. He could flatten out with that right leg, power that right leg over towards his left, and it'll flatten Spriggs out, and he'll be able to pull Muhammad Ali up on top of him, maybe to get into X guard. There he goes. <laughs> slippery, though. Very slippery at this stage. You can just see how how shiny they are. Yeah. I think actually the ref's going to get the towel for a moment. No, he's going to have a little chat with the um, the judges. We've got 1 minute 42 remaining in this match. Of course, we have the official clock, but they don't. That little, uh, that little trip and fall that they took off the mats there took out the official scoreboard. <laughs> yeah. So they'll need to look up to the big screen to see exactly how much time is left. 142 on the official clock, 0-0. Zero, zero. Ali on the left, red ankle bands. Spriggs on the right, blue. And the referee is actually saying that they want, he wants to get that TV running again, so. Having a word with them also. Yeah. He, okay, so they gave Tim a negative one. Huh. I, Interesting. I heard him over. I don't know what he said, but I heard him say something about sitting guard or jumping guard. I maybe it was. I don't know. I don't remember him sitting guard. But there's a. There's here they come again. How? <laughs> now, <laughs> look at Tim go! Oh. Look at that! Oh, oh my word! So close to taking the back yeah. of Muhammad Ali, but. 
I can't help but get nervous when I see those guys running <laughs> around the mat because yeah. uh, we said this before that with action, this dynamic, it's almost like a, a mat this, uh, even this big, is not enough to contain them. No. Spriggs, of course, to take down Muhammad, Muhammad Ali, he just, he has to go forward, forward, forward. Muhammad so good at defending that takedown and just his base so solid. Now, I would say around. we're uh, deep into this now. We've got 30 seconds left in this uh, regulation period. And I'm going to say, I'm not sure if Spriggs is slowing down a bit here, Sean. Ali, of course, you know, is um, the bigger man. And yeah. you think that the, the effort of carrying himself around is going to be hard, but... Yeah, I wouldn't doubt if he's slowing weight down. weight weighing on oh. him, and you could see oh. that. Look at that. That was interesting. Really getting a little bit sloppy now. I think yeah. the exhaustion is starting Tired. to uh, play a factor. But because, of course, both these guys, they literally had just uh, minutes. Yes. Minutes between ra between matches. I they, know. They yes, both came they off uh, submission wins in their opening round matches. Of course, uh, Muhammad Ali scoring a heel hook over John Hansen and Spriggs with a guillotine of Jared Dopp. But there was very little rest before they came straight Jeez. back out for this match right here. And... Goodness. 